Hello everybody, um, JM here, welcome to my first Let's Play on Empire Total War. In, for this series I will be playing as Portugal, I wanted someone that was a country that was not overpowered, not not in a really really good starting position that would make it too easy to play, but hopefully spread out over a large area, maybe one or two theatres. Um, I did think about Denmark, because they had uh, Denmark, Norway and Iceland, but I was hoping for something in India or America as well, and I came across Portugal. Um, they start with Portugal itself, obviously, but they also have a small province, Goa, I believe, in um, India. Um, so, not really a hard to play nation, not really easy to play nation, sorry, but hopefully you provide me a bit of a challenge. Not sure. Uh, yeah, we've got Portugal. Uh, 1,389 tax, and Goa will have has about 299. So, uh, we haven't got 7,500 gold to start with. Frota pronta! Really rich. We're not, we haven't got that much in the way of money. So, uh, let's just check the trade routes. I think they do get some trade routes in Brazil. Uh, yeah, Brazil. I, I assume that's meant to represent their colonies in Brazil. Uh, let's just check. Right. Oh, and the Ivory Coast. I think Portugal had some colonies in Africa around this time, but they're not really represented in the game. Except for trade routes. Um, right, so well, first things first, let's get our research started. Uh -huh. um, right, so here we have... Ooh, I think I'll go for Plug Bayonet first. Just because we're probably going to be getting into some fights. Might, or I might try and start some trade with other countries. Try and get some technologies from them. Um, so I'm... Um, Try and set up our trade routes. We may already have them, them filled up already, but uh, yeah, we seem to. Uh, got Spain we can trade with. Let's see if they are. No, they haven't got any technology, but we'll see if we can get a trade agreement. We've got one with Spain. Uh, the only other person I think we could get one is with one Indian factions, but no, don't seem like we can get any trade with them. Which shame, which is a shame, but still. But like I said, we've only got a little bit of money, so we're going to have to invest this pretty wisely. And we're going to have to try and keep at, get a strong military at the same time. Because, uh, as you can see, we're barely making any growth. We're barely growing at this, like, at this time. Because the tax is taken from the um, town wealth, so obviously we want that to grow. And obviously we want a strong military by building barracks. Um, at the moment, we've got line infantry, militia. Oh no, no, sorry, uh, just militia apparently. But they've got the line infantry uh, card. I don't know if that's part of Dark Oh, uh, we can get Irish Brigade. They're line infantry, but really we want to get. No, ah, there's there's line infantry, which would require a barracks. Uh, the Cazadors, oh, we won't get into right near the end of the game. So let's just start off with uh, barracks in uh, Lisbon at the moment. Let's just check that one. Uh, at the moment, we can only recruit the colonial militia there. So hmm, that building won't really give us much in the way of extra recruitment or, well, anything. We don't really need the repression. I'm investing in infrastructure in Lisbon and, and to go up just because it's four gold per turn, increase their movement speed, so it'll be handy enough for us. We'll get some Irish Light Brigade line infantry. Uh, let's check our ministers. Could probably replace the one on me. Ah, oh, this doesn't seem to work like. Uh, Usually you just can drag people to the... Uh, oh, this works a bit differently. Ah, I haven't seen this before, Family Tree. I assume that's a new addition to the mod. So I don't believe there was Family Trees in... in vanilla game. Uh, right, I believe that... We'll raise taxes 
no, no, no. Uh, raise taxes for the rich slightly. Oh no, no, let's put that back. Um, how much money will we actually make? We'll make about four thousand gold. So we're, we yeah, we're still making money. Uh, so anything else I need to check? Uh, the objective is to get thirty, thirty regions, as you can see. All right, let's end turn. I have got it to show turns of other nations, but. If it gets to the point where it's been a bit tedious, just showing lots of armies marching about, doing nothing, then I'll maybe turn that off or pause the video and skip ahead. I want to watch the first turn just to, so we know what our neighbours and potential allies and enemies are doing. Um, I think we're allied with the UK and the I could be wrong. Oh, traditionally, Portugal is, well, yeah, still is um, the UK's longest and I time it time wise um, I think it was a tree in the 1300s that it sort of like kept the alliance going on since then um, helped out each other a lot in the Napoleonic Wars um, when Napoleon was invading Spain and Portugal that sort of area and well they've always been, always been quite good allies ever since I believe um, just going through the Mughal empires now I'm just gonna I'm just going to pause the video here and I'll bring it back once the turns are done. Um, I'll see you when the end turns are finished. Um, well, welcome back everyone. Uh, I didn't think much was going to happen in this um, turn, but it seems our trade routes come under attack. So, I'm just going to quickly do that battle. It'll be the first battle of this next play. Uh, not sure it's practically the same. I've heard there's a um, slight difference is to the artillery reload rate, but this is my first time playing in Dark Mod, so I don't know what those changes would be. But hopefully they're not anything bad tonight. Nothing. Hopefully it won't affect that. Me. Uh, hopefully it won't be a long learning curve to try and get used. To would have been saying sick trades, I assume, but they can't be that powerful. Um, it should be an easy victory. One one of the good things about this, uh, unless things have like I said, I've while, but I believe you can get them pretty early on. But they're pretty powerful ships, um, 58 cannons or so, which is, um, I believe, a lot more powerful than Netherlands. I believe they get something similar. Um, you can get naval dominance just with their trade ships. Ah, here we are. Oh, 16 cannons. Uh, no, oh, no. Right, we're going to start this panel. Just keep trying to keep the line. Try and cross the T of the pirates. But that will actually work. Full sails. Fast forward. I, I admit, naval battles aren't exactly my favourite thing in this game. I mean, it is better than auto resolving in the, like in the previous Total Wars, but it doesn't really feel like a proper naval. Uh, it doesn't feel proper historically accurate. I mean, it was just a, I mean, in real life, they would have just all lined up and sort of sailed along each other, trying to cross each other's tees, like, so they can try to make some amount of guns when the enemy couldn't. But here it just descends into one giant brawl where you just have about 20 ships all within about 10 metres of each other, just sort of sitting there trying to blast the head out of each other. I mean, ships did get tangled up and things did, it was close quarters actions, but it seems like that every action in this game is close quarters. But hopefully, Dark Mod has changed that somewhat. I'm looking forward to the changes to Dark Mod. Right, could try, can try and get a broadside on this pirate ship. No, there doesn't appear to be any sound. For oh, slow motion, that's fine. No. It. We can hit near them. The one is safe in that way. The reload the guns. Get these ships to start turning. Hopefully they can start firing better. Oh, can hear the sound effects now? Certainly a lot better than the vanilla. Nice open war sound effects. 
much, much better. Just get this. Okay, going forward. Let's turn this slightly. Yeah, they are much better. Much, much better sound effects. I hope they've done something similar with the ground combat sound effects. That would definitely improve the gameplay a lot. Well, not, not the gameplay, but the immersion, I suppose. Oh, it's close to range, really. Sort of hitting around, but not really doing anything. Really, I was, uh, you know, I might switch to chain. No, no, that's in short range. No. I'm going to keep the bit of ground shot at the moment. That fifth rate's really the main target. The sort of out of range at the moment. That's how I want to Right. I'm not very good at fight managing all the different ships that you can see. The Dalton looks just a tag. We'll see how that goes. I'll get the feeling, get the feeling the AI will probably fuck it up. I, I mean, I'll try it out in case, but we should be able to land up to get the fight quite handy. I'm going to make a quick turn while, while the enemy is reloaded so we don't want to do too much damage to us. Now we've knocked one of his sails out. That should slow him down quite a bit. Watch ready to fire broadside. That should hopefully maybe take down some more sails and cause some serious damage to them. Oh, it's, it's there. Oh, that's another bit of rigging down. They should hopefully be in the dead in the water from now. I'm going to order this ship to fall dead. I mean, they're not really powerful. They're not really good ships. Now. They're not going to be much good, but... Alright, it'd be better to capture it and have a not very good ship than to just sink it. And still have three galleons at the end of it. Capture ships, that would definitely be a big deal. But they did need some merchant ships, the galleons. So be less reliant on having to send reinforcements out of Portugal itself or the Alright, uh, I'm well, starting to hit us a bit now. Um, could order them to port water, they would have a decent chance of succeeding, I think. I'm going to try and take it out of sails and then hopefully we can just leave, in, leave there, that ship just sitting in the water for us to take out later. He's still on the way to board it. He'll get some of his grape shot on the flagship and that'll help us out. We might order him to start this ship to start the grape shot. The airship is quite low in the water, so it should be quite exposed to the range shot to hit them. No, I'm not doing as much damage here as I hope. I'm going to have to switch back to ground shot. Though, range shot is still having a bit of an effect. Not a lot, but we'll see. Try and cross this T while we're here. Full sails. Take advantage of the situation. Come on, come on, Daniel. Right, sails down. We should just be out of the bat. Take 
getting that close to their cannon, which is quite a lot of crew. They might be able to avoid an action. Use a chain shot to try and stop them escaping. Try and have another go at this. Frames sails again. I've got two ships that would be able to do this now. Set one port as well. So one will hopefully be able to keep firing on the fifth rate while the other one shoots it from the distance. Go back to round shot. AI doesn't appear to be doing it. This one, this ship started to walk away now, so we should have to stop soon. We can just take out their sails again, catch up with them. No, they're out now, we just need to catch up and they should surrender up once we can start boarding. Oh, that was a good board side from them. The, well, I'm going round shot again. We don't really want to damage from that, we want to take out their sails. Let's just speed this bit up. Might do this shot in slow motion just to see the effects on the ship. Get their sails down. They fine? Yep, they are. Really doing that accurate, although that's to be expected from long range. I've got some hits on their sails, but nothing miraculous. Oh, we took out one bit of rigging. I right, should slow them down a bit. Got to keep with the chain shot. That ship looks quite. I don't know, I haven't lost much health, but oh, that's enough bit of rigging down. Should be able to catch up and take them down. Sebek, we should be able to bring this ship back to the helm. Oh, it's a uh, fifth rate attack on my canyon. It's not good. Uh, put one more lot of chain shot into this ship. Just uh, slow him down a little bit. Try and take out that last bit of rigging. And yep, that's the last bit of rigging gone. Right, they're dead in the water now. So there should be a quick fall in action. Alright, I'm trying to do something similar here. Take out their rigging again. Oh, they surrendered, so we can hit them from here now. Right, take all the damage from there. You can board and you can attack. Right, that's one bit of rigging gone. We should slow them down just enough for us to catch up. Give only a little bit. Oh yeah, I think we do have some fun of climbing up, so I'm not entirely sure, but even if it's just two cannons, it's better than nothing. Speed it up a little bit for this last bit. 
hold the gun there, guns. Right, another broadside. Oh, yeah, he's on this one. Right, turn him there that way, so he doesn't do damage. Park behind them. No, it's a good hit. And the wavering, that's another one of their sails gone. Ah, they're routed now. Make sure everyone's using the chain shot. Try and take out those last sails. Ah, right, we'll continue this just to capture their ship. Try and speed it up a little bit. Nearly in board position now. Just need to get in there and get alongside them now. Shouldn't take too long. Just speed it up because it's probably a bit boring to just watch two ships chasing each other with this bit. If, if you want to skip ahead to the end of the battle, I will try and leave a link in the. In the uh, in the top box on the top of the I think I'll put that in. Right, uh, Ah, there we are. Well, we'll use them to protect the Galleon fleet a bit better. So they can defend themselves, but that's some extra backup, right, for ships to go out and board enemy ships that are routing, because the Galleons aren't exactly the fastest vessels in the game. I'm just going to pause it while uh, welcome back. As we can see, we captured three ships. We can either sell them for 2,000 gold. Uh, let's see what sort of condition they're in. Right, uh, I'll probably sell one of the Sebex. Uh, add the rest to the fleet. I only get 795 out of that, but we'll get a bit of money. But we've got two new ships. Uh, I've got more pirates, but they're not attacking, so we can see what's happened. Britain and Spain are at war. Uh, United States and Spain. Russia and Poland. Russia and Austria. And recruitment has been finished in Lisbon and Gunn. Yeah, I believe. Right. Yep, there's our Irish line infantry. Got some demi cannons, which aren't that great. Got some sakers. Um, uh, barracks are still coming along, let's just check out that one. Might improve that government's residence, because I believe we could probably add right. better ships, um, better ships, better infantry, the more improved it is. Uh, I'll take a plunge and upgrade it, because it's only a thousand gold, we've got the money. Os meus olhos estão ao seu serviço. I've put our great to use, I think we forgot about it. Um, our upper agents. They should be in the crater. Get there. Right there, we're in the crater. That should hopefully get us some. Um, get his skill up a little bit. I can't exactly remember how agents work in this game. Um, I'm guessing it's based on how many successive actions, but it's just got a great here. Send them to Madrid because Spain oh, yeah. may want to yeah, get involved. We may want to invade them at some point. We may want to invade them. I mean, we can see they're quite exposed. Their main capital city is well completely undefended. Probably, could probably make a bit of a move towards it. Sort of ransom Madrid for uh, some of their colonies in, in America. In the Americas, uh, got Florida, uh, got Cuba. New Spain is, I'm, I'm not sure if it works exactly the same as in Vanilla with Empire Total War, but they should get New Spain at some point, point which is quite a rich region. Um, has New Mexico, it's got, it's got Guatemala, Guatemala, Panama Canal, well, Panama, not Panama Canal, my apologies. Um, some fairly rich areas. Um, so we might, might try and build up an army later. Just to make a quick move towards Madrid and then quickly 
ransom it for some territories. Uh, oh, we're not allowed to. We haven't got the. Uh, can't recruit any more Irish inf um, brigade infantry, unfortunately. We'll get some guerrillas um, and some militia. I'm not going to go for cannons because they'll take too long to produce, and well, we've already got one. They're not, and they're not exactly that good with without the grape shot. Uh, just check if our ships here can do anything. Uh, they can pro probably send them to Madrid's main trading port, to the Spanish tra main trading port, in preparation for blockading it. Yeah, they get quite a bit of money from from this trade route, I think. So we'll be ready to hit that. Let's just check our other agents. I haven't. I don't think I've really got many more. Oh no, that was all of them. Yep, and yeah, that was all of them. Let's just check our population. Uh, going down in Gotha, but going up in Portugal, Lisbon. Uh, are there any other fleets I should know about? Oh, we have one in the. Oh yeah, no, no, that's what no, I know about that one. And we've got. Quite a lot of soldiers in Lisbon. Right. Uh, could probably start on the government chambers, but I don't think it's going to unlock us an awful lot. Uh, get some more research points, a bit more income. Uh, just check out um, what, how much money we're going to make. Uh, we're we're uh, uh, should we get or should we get the opera house? That would give more happiness. Uh, oh, we're going for the government chambers for the moment. Um, oh, and we're going for the opera house as well. Uh, leaves us a bit short on cash, but it's a risk I'm gonna willing to make. I'll, once again, I'll just pause this bit while um, it shows everyone's turns, and I will unpause it when something happens, or when the turn ends, whatever happens first. So, see you in a minute, folks. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Um, Nearly at the end of um, the turn, but just got one naval battle to uh, go through. Just thought I'd um, unpause it just so you knew that what was happening. Uh, don't really need a light galley, I'll just sell it, if I'm honest. Just get a bit of money. Shouldn't be any problems with pirates, but just in case I'll leave it unpaused. And, yep, end of the turn. Um, oh, there, no, it's that agent. Uh, might have him do some sabotage, try and get his skill level up. I'll try and not get the take. Uh, more wars, Austrian Ottomans. Getting our troops in Portugal trained up. Right, let's check the Spanish. Right, Spain is still quite undefended. Uh, which is getting Again, quite a tempting target oh, yeah. to try and go for. Yeah, uh, I think I'll, I'll check how many troops we've got now. Um, how many have we got? We've got quite a few. I'll move them out. Uh, right. I could. I think I could make a move on Madrid with the troops I have now and have a reasonable chance of success. I mean. Uh, they got they got more cannons than me. What's our cavalry like? We've got one lot of cavalry. Cavalry. If we could take out their cavalry and then ours could deal with their cannon, it should make it be an easy enough fight for the for the main infantry. Hey friend. So we'll move them up to the border. We're not going to declare war yet. I can It would take us one turn to get to Madrid. Quickly take the city, try and ransom it for something better. I think it's, it's a bit of a gamble, but this could pay off in Portugal. Uh, let's just check what else we can develop while we're here. Um, get vineyards. We'll get the vineyards, so I'll leave a bit of money in, for, in case any wars start off. So, um, don't want that to happen. Don't want to, be, don't want to go to war and still have our. Not much money. Uh, next turn, our plug bayonet should be finished, which will give the infantry a bit of a chance. Just check diplomacy, see if there's any more trade routes I can open. Nope, they're still all full. Nothing's changed in that way. Let's just go to our third turn. Uh, once again, I'll pause the game once 
I'll pause it once Britain's gone through. Oh, that's already done. I'll pause the game, um, the video for you, sorry, and see you well, once the turns are finished up or something interesting happens once again. Welcome back, everyone. Um, right, the turn has ended and we have unlocked pl the plug bayonet, which is good. Um, our agent is still doing his thing in Bid Bidjapur, um, one of the Indian cities. Um, Still trying to get his rank up a little bit, uh, and our agent here is still doing their job, uh, trying to get their rank up a bit through oh, yeah. successful yeah. actions. Anything else happened while we was away? Um, uh, got some traits gained, a few more troops, and we finished our roads, which will be very good. Oh, actually, uh, we forgot to, I forgot to check the ministers. Um, still need to get someone better than this person. Oh no, I forgot we can't drag that. Ah, oh, that's better. That will help keep things going along. Let's just check our research. We'll go for the ring bayonet next, which will be a big improvement. The plug bayonet's more of a last ditch attempt uh, technology like use, really. I mean, once you've plugged it into the rifle, I don't. Once you've used it and activated it, I don't think they can take it out of their rifle again. So they're sort of stuck as melee troops, which isn't Please something you really want to happen. Also, while we was on the... while the turns were going, the Barbary States came and located Spain for me. So that's my part of my job done. I think ready and... more than ready to try and take Spain on. I mean, it's probably a bit... some of you may think I'm being a bit hasty with this, but... I think we've got the troops, I think we've got even odds. I think I could manage it. I, if we could take Madrid in one go, I think this could we could get some decent colonies out of this. Oh, it would mean going to war with France and Venice though. Ah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Didn't think about that. Is France at war with anyone already? They might not get involved if they are. We're already at war with quite a few countries. I think I could. Okay. I think I could hold. Could do this. Get some more line infantry. Well, since I've got the barracks now, I can get proper line infantry. Uh, next barracks won't be able to unlock for a while. No, yeah, I'll take that chance. New Spain, I was expecting anyway. Venice, I don't think they can do much. I can just end the war with one go. Oh, they've got some more. Where have they got those troops from? Ah, oh. oh, they've changed garrisons on this. Ah, oh, that's quite unexpected. I think I could win this if I were to go to battle, but I'm in a defensive battle more than a attacking battle. Oh. Didn't know they'd changed the garrisons. Usually they just had these fire lock infantry. They didn't have any. Uh, line infantry and certainly not mortars. I was expecting it to just be these troops, be them. But if I keep outside the town where their mortars are kept and just deal with the two armies one at a time, I think I can take them on. But we'll leave that for now. I think I'll choose to end the video here because it's been running for uh, I'm not sure how long, but I don't want it to run for too long because people will get bored. Um, thank you for watching so far. Um, leave a like in the video in the bit below. Um, leave feedback; it's always nice to know how to improve. And if you enjoy watching these videos, um, please subscribe. Um, this is JM, and thank you for watching.